Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have incredible news as Substance Painter 2020.1 is officially available, released and launched. So in case you want to get Substance Painter 2020.1 right now, you can go over to Substance3D.com and get this. And it's actually a very good time to get this since Substance has reset their entire trial version and Anyone who wants to get this can simply get this for free and use it for 30 days. And if you're a student, you can now get Substance Painter for one year, which you can use with a student license. Now, this is very interesting as some of the very cool features that they have implemented and now available. And we've already talked about some of the features coming to Substance Painter 2020.1. So first things first, the export texture window has been revamped and changed. So right now, if you're trying to export stuff, you can choose within the settings of how and what you want to export there is also an output template and there is a list of exports now within these sections you can actually choose to export things based off tile sets and you can also override certain parameters at the same time you can choose to change what and what export types that you want to play with and you can also proceed to save the settings so that you can reuse them for later there's also a list for exports which has to do with certain parts of your geometry that you can now choose to export for example you want to export the head and maybe the body individually this is definitely going to be very helpful and you can still choose to change whatever preference that you want with this stuff as once you proceed to start exporting there is now a console that you'll be able to see the output details of every single thing that you're exporting i think this is a much more level ground that the guys from substance are creating for udims to come in play because i do really love this one that is happening right here as you can now shuffle and play around these things and get some very incredible also high quality textures out of substance painter now with that said let's talk about a new cool tool that is now available we already talked about this one and it has to do with the decals of course there's a news about decals which you guys should actually you know stick around for and the decals is now here the decals is now here in the sense that you can now literally get the decal as a material that is now existing within the substance shelf and you can drag and drop by simply holding down alt and applying this to your model now this reminds me about how you get to apply certain form of textures or you know materials using key shots and i love the idea about this one now the decal thing actually makes use of planar projection which means that you can simply click drag drop and actually apply the decals onto the surface of any object that it snaps to and this is lovely right now there's a full volume that you can now control i really really love the you know the whole gizmo manipulation thing that is available with this one as you can simply move things around slide things reduce sizes scale them and get your decals to match exactly where you want them to be now this does not just end there as you can also proceed to use materials and get exactly the same result and with this now you can literally start mixing and matching stuff using a couple of masks whether procedural or hand painted mask to get the result that you want of course there is also certain ways which you would you know want to play around these things this is going to save you a lot of time the present decals that is coming or shipping with the default substance that you'll be having once you download the brand new version of substance is fine next off is python python is now here for the guys doing python scripting so we already talked about the deprecation of javascript in terms of you know console development and persons trying to expand the library or expand the use of substance painter right now python is now available and the pi side to with substance painter is the next or is the present uh python api that will be shipping and will be used with substance painter and in the previous news where we talked about this the algorithmic team guys developing substance they said that further development for javascript api would not really be happening anymore as they are now moving into working with python and plugins for python is more likely to be created from now henceforth of course they are not throwing away the previous you know things that you can do by simply using the javascript but you know for the future 
Python is definitely the next thing that would be available right now. So with that, improved bakers are here. So we already talked about the NVIDIA baking system that exists and, you know, the whole collaboration with uh, NVIDIA from Substance trying to make the baking look very, very cool. And I really love the fact that right now the baking is now GPU accelerated. So if you're having an RTX card and advanced card, it's going to get you some very cool baking. And what we're talking about is the curvature baking and also the ambient occlusion baking. As right now, it does simulate some sort of plane below the mesh and this would help create some sort of shadowing coming all the way from the ground onto the object. And this is very, very nice for anyone who is trying to make some bakes as you can simply use this to make some very interesting stuff moving forward for substance painter 2020.1 there is this new improved mesh exporter now i kind of call this one new because this wasn't there and I'm, I'm calling it improved because it is much more of an improved feature from what was existing before so now you can actually export your mesh with displacement so you know how you get to work with your mesh and you have your basic mesh where you bring it into substance you do a couple of edits on top of the first one maybe make some other edits you go over to the displacement within the shaders and then you crank up the scale and also the tessellation probably use your channel as height and you know get some displacement happening right now once you do all of those displacement stuff going on you may likely not want to go to your DCC app of choice and start battling with displacement. So Substance uh, Painter is going to help you get that particular problem out of the way. As you can get as much details as you want directly in Substance Painter and you can also choose to export your model with or without tessellation right now. And once you're trying to export your model without tessellation or displacement, you can also proceed to apply triangulation or you can choose to just simply keep your models as squat. Something else that you can proceed to do is when you're exporting this object with displacement, you can choose to recompute your vertex normals so that you can get the normals of your object to match the displacement offsets. And this in turn would save you so much time while working directly in Substance. So with all of these cool features right now, we are also seeing an improved automatic UV unwrapping that has been remodified and redefined for anyone who wants to simply get some advanced unwrapping going. These are things that we're definitely going to test out soon. And in the previous video, we talked about the seams, UV island packing, and also margin size. These beautiful stuff really makes sense. And I'm pretty excited about the new sets of features coming into Substance. Substance Painter has actually come a long way and last year we saw a huge improvement in substance painter that had to do with the photoshop brushes that was coming in the improvement for the graphic tab support the automatic uv actually saw its first beta last year we also got to see some new brush presets and then did see some other sets of things that had to do with new contents that came into substance painter so a whole long list of things has been coming into substance painter and i'm pretty pretty excited about 2020.1 20, that is now here now to the news that you guys need to also get yet before we leave now the guys from substance have also released a substance parametric decal now these decals are also similar to the decals that you're going to get in substance painter 2020.1 the only difference here is that right now there is about 130 of these decals on the substance store so if you want to get this one you need to get to substance store and get these ones and probably get them if you have some credits or points you can get them from there and also the decals that we have in the substance painter 2020.1 they do support you being able to play with parameters so you can choose to you know flicker the parameters here and there make some changes and if you're feeling very lucky and you want to get more you know decals into substance and you want to start working with them of course you can simply come over to substance source right now and download these pretty cool ones that you know you might literally want to get started with and of course that you might literally want to get started with and yeah this is some very cool interesting news and i'm very very excited about you know all of the cool features that we have in substance painter right now so the whole thing about you having problems exporting your meshes that has been fixed there is also 
this problem of you know you not having the proper baking directly in substance that is also something of the past right now and i'm also excited about the exporting feature and i cannot wait to see udims come over to substance and yeah that's about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you want to learn more about substance or maybe you want to see the previous videos where we talked about substance and the updates that is now in substance you can check out the links in the description and those will take you two different videos that addresses either how you can work with substance from marvelous designer to key shot or you know get a basic understanding of how substance work or maybe you're just interested in making substance alchemist materials you can also check out a link in the description that will take you to this video that actually covers that so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace